Hello, everyone. Welcome. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you so much for joining me. And let me just start that up on this Sunday evening. Chilly Sunday. Nice fall day, though. So I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. I know they go too fast, don't they? What I'd like to know is whoever said that you had to work five days a week and you only got two days off. I don't know who came up with that work week, but I really think they should have done at least four days and then you have off for three. Just saying. So thank you for tuning in again, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Hi, Fran. How are you? So today's video, what I chose to showcase, and I think I had alluded to that on one of my Facebook Lives yesterday where I was hopping on. Hi, Pam. Hi, Philomena. Hi, Megan. Um, hopefully you caught a couple of those. I did six videos for World Card Making Day, and I will be sending those cards out to, um, I had done, what, five cards in a project, but I picked, I think it's six or seven names, and I'm going to be sending out cards for World Card Making Week now, so I'm going to be sending those out to some lucky winners at the end of this video. What I showed one card uh, yesterday was the Cup of Christmas, and that's the one I'm going to be showcasing today. Okay, so let me just flip the camera, and we'll get started. Hi, everyone. Everyone's coming on. That's great. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me just flip this camera. Again, rosewardstampersdelight.com. There's my October host code. Hi, Matthew from Australia. Oh, thanks, Winnie. And yes, it was a lot of fun for me doing that um, all day thing. I think I started at eight o'clock and I ended up at eight, eight at night. Uh, if you noticed, you didn't see me though. <laughs> That's because in between I was cleaning and everything. Okay, so let me show you a couple of things. So the cup of Christmas is really nice. I like this set because it's for righties and lefties. Okay, so the there's a, and I'll show you how to use that stamp. You can use it for a right-handed or a left-handed person, which is pretty cool. Oh, it's going to be 100 degrees there, Megan. I wish it was 100 degrees here. I'd still be in my pool. And it's got some great, sweet sayings. Hi, Donna. Hi, Susan. And again, here's all the um, cutouts or the, the dies. So this is what they give you, which is kind of nice. They give you a right-handed and left-handed die. And then you can cut those out. Okay, and you see they go the opposite way, but I will show you how to use those. And then, of course, you got your inside piece, which you can um, make it a little more intricate. Um, I'm going to be using this one. And they've got this cute little tag set. You know how I love the tags from uh, First Frost because they've got the larger one that you could do in the bowl, like your uh, color. And then you can do this in the white or very vanilla, and it fits right in there. So you can have your little saying in there. And then um, some a bow and some more little things, the candy cane. So it's a great, it's a great, great set. I really like it. Uh, of course, I like all their sets. So that's a stamp set. Now I will show you what I want to show you first before because I don't want to forget. Are these two stamps? Because this is what's important with these. And if you've already got them, you already know this. If you've watched the videos, you probably already know this. But for anybody that hasn't. So here's the two dies again. Okay, so I'm just going to real quick show you. I have one here as a right and one here as a left. Let me grab my cherry cobbler. Now, I'm not using these um, today, This what I'm stamping right now. I'm just showing it to you. So if I don't stamp the image that great, I don't really care. Okay, so tap, tap, tap. And this is a bold image. So if you give it a little twist sometimes... That helps. Bunny says, I'm just reading, Rosie gave us the idea to have a card buffet, and that is what we did. Ah, oh, that's great. That's great, Bunny. You did a, a, a card buffet for World Card Making Day. I love it. So, again, I'm just tapping and twisting a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Okay? Now, again, I didn't use my pad, which is right here. So it didn't come out so great. But I'm not going to cut that out. I'm just showing you that now I can cut that out for a right-handed person. Now, I'm just going to clean it off. And I will show you what happens if you need it for a left-handed person. I'm also going to show you something else, which I've probably told you before. You can see I use a lot of 
cherry cobbler today, so it's stained. Now, this is a flat stamp. It's flat. So now I can flip it around this way to the, that side. Whoop, get wrong side. I already did that side, didn't I? Wait a minute, let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm going to flip it around. Let me wipe this off. Got too wet. likes to stick to my paper today there we go all right i'm just gonna do it that way it's because my block is wet i'm gonna ink it up again and now i'm going to stamp it this so you just flip the stamp over and now you have the other the other um cup going the other way and again you have two dies for that what a great great idea right Oh, uh, thank you. I I think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna wait to do that again until next year when they have World Card Making Day. I might have to do my own uh, all day Facebook lives. <laughs> so again, this is what I really like about the set because both of these you have the stripes and and the little um Kirby's there or the little dots, so that you can cut that out. Now, one thing I do also want to tell you that this this image right here you can't do that with. I kind of wish you could, but. Let me just see something. This is a flat stamp. Yeah, this is flat. Hey, you know what? Yeah, it wouldn't work. Anyway, it would have been nice if it did. So, that's how you use the um, right and left stamps. Now, the one thing I wanted to show you, and this is wet back here. The other thing I wanted to tell you is, you know how you clean your stamp with your chamois or your um, scrubber, like I'm doing right now? Okay, and I'm scrubbing that. But when you do that, you see it's still got some color on it. Of course, you're going to clean your scrubber. But also, don't forget we have this great new stamp cleaning pad. And let me tell you, it does work. Okay, just once you clean your stamps with the scrubber, go back in and clean it with this. It's gonna, that's going to look kind of yucky. And it's very wet looking. But then take a cloth, a dry cloth, and wipe that off. It's still going to be stained a little bit, but you'd be surprised how much. Look at this. I'm going to show you. Even though you've cleaned it, I just used my Stampin' Scrub, and it is clean, but look at this, especially red. Look how much red came off of that again. So I urge you to, to use that, it re, and it, it also conditions them. Just my little word of advice. All right, so that would be how you cut those out. If I ramble today, I'm sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the cards, okay? Oh, thanks, Robin. Yes, I had so much fun doing it. So um, how about we do it again sometime? Want to watch me again for 12 hours? <laughs> All right, so this is the one I showed yesterday on one of the Facebook Lives. It was the Cup of Cheer, quick, easy card using the uh, leftover piece for my envelope. And I actually had done one earlier for this class. And then I said, oh, well, let me show them how to do that, to, you know, on the Facebook Live yesterday. So there's the blue. Now, this one is the same, really, card, the red um, plaid paper. And I also used the subtle background here, so it gave it a little more texture. Again, you can see that I did a matching envelope. You like that idea, huh, Robin? And, of course, this one I did the opposite way. Quick, easy cards. Let me take my sweatshirt off now. It's a little warm. Um, quick, easy card using the Cup of Christmas. Now, remember, I when I look at the set, I think coffee could be hot chocolate, could be tea. Okay. So those are two there. Then what I did was I used our Memories and More card uh, bases. Remember, they're already... Nice and uh, decorated for you. And all I did was an oval, a cup, or used our uh, striped ribbon, little tag there. You can see the little tag. And I used, I had green staples, so I stapled it together. Oh, thanks, Susan. Quick, e another quick, easy card. 
sweet Christmas wishes. And remember, it doesn't have to be coffee. You can give it to a tea lover. It doesn't actually have to be even for Christmas because sending you a cup of cheer could be for, a, you know, if somebody's sick or, you know, whatever. So don't just think Christmas. The next one I want to show you, I did with our puff paint. You can see the red does, um, if you don't, if you don't uh, dry it real quick, it does uh, run a little bit or, you know, bleed a little bit, but who cares? It's supposed to be um, whipped cream, right? Can you see that? So this one, again, just use some of our um, plaid, wrapped in plaid paper. Of course, I use the other side of the, where there's no uh, gold or silver on there. And I use some Wink of Stella on the, the cups. Irish coffee. Oh, I like that one, Fran. There you go. So another quick, easy, well, I say quick and easy. It's not, you got to cut everything out, but a nice card. And again, I did the matching envelope. The reason I have so many of these is remember, when you cut, your, tw your six by six paper, it's already six by six. When you cut it for a card base, for whether you do um, four and five and a quarter or you do three and a quarter, you always have that one strip left. And rather than at the end of the year, me having all these strips, I've committed myself to using them on my cards. It keeps me organized, keeps less um, scraps around. And then, I mean, I save my scraps, but a lot of times I don't even get to use them. So this way I am using them. Next one, of course, you know how I love my foil trim card bases. There's the envelope. <laughs> this is one of my favorite. This is the um, designer series paper that I love so much, and I never get to use the, the um, silver side. Well, this time I use the silver side. What is it? The first frost? Fresh frost, you know which one I'm talking about. And this is the first time I've actually used the silver side for the card. And then, of course, now I I just use the die and then the inside piece, which let me just show you so you know. I just took the die and cut the silver paper out, and then you cut this piece out, and I did that with the glitter paper. Here's what, something I want to tell you. When you cut this piece out, and you can see I did it with the glitter. I don't know about you, but what I do is I lay it on a big shot. I roll it up. I always tend to roll everything back, so I cut it twice, so it cuts into it. Be careful with this one. It is so um, delicate, okay? It's so delicate that if you roll it back up and down too many times, it actually cuts the whole thing out. So you want to be careful with that one, okay? Just to let you know. Yeah, I really like the silver, too. And the blue with the blue. And, of course, the inside. Wishing you a Christmas filled with happiness and love. Now, this um, die right here is from the Most Wonderful Time bundle. And that I, that is with the um, shimmery paper. So, again, another nice one. Again, almost the same effect uh, with the glimmer papers. But now this one, I used our rose glimmer paper with our um, dazzling diamond or or what is it? Da yeah, dazzling diamond glitter paper, the clear, the white one. Okay, can I bring that up there so you can see it? Told you I'm going to be stumbling today. I am tired. Thank you, Matthew. I I really like the mauves Christmas time, and I think I had said this before. My dining room, I do in mauve and a and some like I would say cherry cobbler. My living room downstairs, I do in blue. And then the family room is all in the Christmas red and green colors. But uh, I love the mauve. So let me show you that again. And that's shimmery white right here. You probably can't see that layered right onto my card base of white. And then this is Blushing Bride, just so you know. The colors. Okay. Now I did this fold... Um, a couple of videos back, the triple fold or trifold. And this was, I thought, was a cute idea because it's got all, this is from the snowman set. It's got all the little uh, snowflakes on there. Sweet Christmas wishes. You know, that's our nestled dies. And then I just did the co coffee cups or hot chocolate cups going different ways. And then when you open it up, there's another one. Of course, it's Coastal Cabana and Cherry Cobbler. 
sending you a cup of cheer. Sweet Christmas wishes. So if you want to know how to make that fold, again, that was a couple of videos back. Now the fun fold we're going to do today, I'll show you the cards that I did with it first. This is one of them. So this fold, it's really easy to do. And the card base is actually five and a half, uh, eight, five and a half by eight. Okay. And I do have the directions and I will put it out there. And it's just scored at three and three, and three quarters. That's it. So it's five and a half by eight, scored at three and three quarters. And what happens when you fold it, you have that little lip there. So what I did with this, because this is the uh, night before Christmas designer series paper, and it looks like a hot cocoa mug. And there we have some mugs with some whipped cream on that designer series paper and some cookies for Santa. And then of course the candy canes is on the flip side of it. So I cut a strip, um, this was two and a half, two inches. These are one inch strips by five and a quarter. And then right here, if you can see it, I used our new um, winter knit. Here it is right here. Our new um, winter knit. Oh my God, I remembered it. <laughs> winter knit embossing folder. Because on a nice wintry, chilly night, you're going to be wearing a sweater and having some hot cocoa. And of course, this is our Poppy Parade cardstock and that's the poppy parade ribbon in the annual catalog so when you open it up and again these are just strips two inches two inches that was one inch and i just layered them up in our red glitter paper and then this piece inside was three and a half inches wide by five and a quarter and again there's the strip another one inch strip by five and a quarter so when you look at the front of it it looks like all strips going across but then Really quick, easy, fun fold to do. And then, of course, again, I had my strip left over. And this is going to go on my envelope like I always show you. I had trouble with this one, though, because I didn't know whether I wanted to use the hot cocoa mugs. Yes, it's going the wrong way, but except when you open it up, it's going the right way, I guess. Right? It doesn't matter. Anyway, I think I'm going to use the candy canes so it matches. Again, I just, I didn't know which one I wanted to do. And of course you've seen me do this before, but I don't want to waste my strip. So I'm just going to lay that right there now. So I have it. And talking about the cards from World Card Making Day yesterday that I'm going to be sending out, just so you know, um, I don't know who's going to get what card because I'm just going to put them all in envelopes and then write the addresses on them. So not like I'm going to know. You're just going to be surprised. Okay. And I'm just trimming around the lip of my envelope. Voila. And now I have another one that matches. Yes, there's a little white or off-white strip there, but I don't think anybody's going to care because it matches. So nice. Oh, thank you, Stacy. Uh, one more with that fold before I stamp. Again, it's the same idea. Okay. Only I used a, a whole piece of um, designer series paper here which was um, four by five and a quarter no I'm sorry three and a, three this one was three and three quarters by four and a quarter and then of course I did my cups and I did some coloring and the flip side of that paper was the polka dots now you could do the same side if you wanted the plaid but I wanted to change it up a little bit. So when you look at it, it actually looks like that's the whole front of the card. Okay, and then you open it up there. Oh, you really like that one? I like this one too. So I'm going to be showing you how to stamp, but I wanted to bring in one more card that I used with this set, but also with another set, and there's a reason for that. So I'm using the Cup of Christmas with Elfie. Don't you just love little Elfie? Elfie doesn't have any dyes with him, but that's okay. So let me bring in the last card before I start stamping. And I did it with Elfie because Elfie is what I'm going to be showcasing Friday morning. Okay? So I'm going to, and I like to kind of tie it in. So here's little Elfie with the presents from uh, Night Before Christmas. 
because it says no peeking, and he's hanging out, out in a little cup, a little cup of hot chocolate. But look at Elfie moves. I know a lot of people have been asking about the wobbles. The wobbles you can get on Amazon, and I'm just going to show you in the back side here if you can see that. So the wobbles, you can buy them on Amazon. Um, I could bought a pack of 100 because I knew I'd be using them. And he just kind of like, bing, bing. And what I did was I just, um, because the back side of him, the, the clear piece that you put the, whatever you're stamping on, is wider than the little Elfie. Um, I just put a circle, used the circle punch. I think this was the one and a half inch circle punch. And I know I love the wobbles too, Fran. So we're going to have some fun with that on, on Friday morning. And then, of course, I also fussy cutted some uh, of the presents out. So no peeking, and I colored with blends. And then in the inside, it has the saying. So this is, this is from Elfie. The sayings are from Elfie. The Merry Christmas is from the uh, Cup of Christmas. But I tied them in together just so you can see. And see, it's hanging out in the cup. Okay. So that'll be Friday morning. All right, so you want to get stamping? All right, so let's see. So what I'm going to stamp is that fold that I told you about. I got all my pieces here so you can see. All right, so I got all these pieces already cut except for this piece right here. Oh, my pieces, there we go. All right, so I'm going to use the Seaside Spray. And again, this card base is eight. Or five and a half by eight. I guess you're supposed to say the lower number first. It's five and a half by eight. The nice thing is about this fold, you can actually do it um, smaller if you wanted. You could have the front fold uh, any side you want. This is my scoring blade is up here. Okay, so I'm going to score this at three and three quarters. And if you mess it up, that's what I love about it. If I let's say I scored it at three and a half, it does. It's okay. It would just be a wider piece you would have here. So there's no messing this fun fold up. I'm going to do this at three and three quarters. And I'm going to fold that. Get my bone folder out. Give it a nice crisp edge. And I think you know what I mean. So this is three and three quarters. This is the edge you have. If you did it at three and a half, you just have a bigger edge there. What I'm going to use for this paper, for this card, is I'm going to use the frost paper. Notice I'm saying frost paper because I can't remember the whole name. And I'm going to make this more of a wintry looking card. Okay, so that's going to go there. But I'm going to change it up a little bit. And I'm going to put some of our seaside ribbon on it. There's that beautiful silver background. Now I will tell you that a lot of the seaside spray, the ribbon, and I think, and the cardstock too, are back ordered. When you see things, when I tell you things are back ordered, order them anyway because as soon as the back order clears, you will get your um, items. If you wait until they're, you know, available, they, it might put you out further. Okay, so you don't want to wait on any of that. So I'm going to go ahead and thinking that. Can you change the blade? Yes, you can change the blades around. Um, I always keep my my um, cutting blade at the top. I'm just used to that. But yes, you can change them. You can put your scoring blade on the top. And I'm just going to lay that down. Now, designer series paper down. That piece is three and a half by five and a quarter. Remember, I will be putting this on the blog. Okay? Uh, and, and the Facebook page. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is, and I've already cut these out, just saves time. There's my coffee cup or hot coffee or cocoa or tea, and I'm going to use the glitter, uh, Dazzling Diamonds glitter paper. Okay, I'm going to bring in my Tombow and just dot it. Okay, I don't need a lot. Just dotting little places here to keep it down. Detailed glue is usually what I use. That's on the other side of the table. So I'm going to use only because it's so intricate. Okay, that should be enough to hold it. I'm going to lay that right down here. 
and just hold it for a second. There, put that on there. I like to put things on, on it to dry. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to bring in my little, remember I told you it had little um, tags. There's the two little tags. And I am going to bring in the Enjoy. My Seaside Spray. It should be, that should be dry by now. My Seaside Spray. Onto the Seaside Spray. And the little Enjoy fits right in there. I love the fact that you can use your color on color here. I'm going to need that, so I'll leave that open. And because this is a small piece, I'm rather new snail. I'm going to go ahead and use my Tombow on that. Lay that down. Okay. Now, now I haven't done this card. Remember, I always like to do one freelancing. I would have never done this a year ago. I'm going to bring in some candy canes using the dies. And you can see I have the full candy cane and then I have the cutout one in both the glitter paper and the seaside spray. These would look cute just like this. Just the shimmery one. Maybe that on the blue. I just like to show you different ways you can do it. See I can put the shimmery one on the on the blue which I'm going to do and I could do it like that. But you can layer them so that you can see the different colors through it. And that's actually what I'm going to do. So, for this one, I'm going to take the blue. I'm going to dot some Tombow on there. Let's press that down. there we go and then again take this one and just put some dots on there if you see I didn't I, oh there we go I did get the bottom I think I did okay I'm gonna go right here hi Karen again I'd like to thank all of you for for uh tuning in yesterday well for tuning in all the time okay so there's that one so now I have both okay that didn't stick too good but I'm that you're not going to see that okay so I have those now I got some other little pieces here and I did I don't even know if I'm using these yet I just made them up just in case I wanted them this is the little um poinsettia pieces dies that you have too so what I did was I did them in the seaside spray and I also did it in the glitter paper just in case I wanted to use it because like I said I'm I haven't decided what I'm doing with this card yet I just got all the pieces together okay okay so I kind of envision things and then see where it goes from there <laughs> all right so let me bring this back in now now I do have a piece of vellum paper that I put through our, our um, stitched Framelits, because I do want that on top of here. It kind of gives it like a little muted color there. This is going to go right on here. Now I'm going to snail it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little snail in the middle there because you're not going to see that. My cup is going to go right here. My candy canes. I'm not gluing anything down yet because I'm just trying to see where I'm going to put them. I'm going to go right there. Okay, that's good. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of snail here so that I can grab those two and make sure they're... There we go. Just make sure they're st sticking on there until I figure out where I'm putting them. Okay, that's going to go right there. For this, I'm going to use dimensionals. Remember, when I use dimensionals, um, you know, they're they're inexpensive, so use them so that your card doesn't fall apart. I usually, anything I have glued down in the back, I always like to somehow get a dimensional in there. It gives it a little extra glue. 
Hi, Pat. Oop, now I got stuck on my nail. Let me use my take your pick tool. If you don't have the take your pick tool, trust me, that's one thing you need. Okay. Well, he just wants to stick to my finger the whole time. Very sticky now. And something on my paper is sticky. I don't want it, my card sticking to it. I'm going to put that right there. Ooh, I'm liking this one. And then I've got these little guys. I'm just trying to see where I want to put them. Oh, yeah, I think I'll put one of each. Oh, I like that. I like that. What do you think? Let me just put a little Tombow there. I'm going to put that one right behind that. And then the glitter one. I have two more yet. I still might use those. I'm not sure. And then I'm going to stick that one right next to it. Oh, I love these colors. It would look awesome in purple, too. Okay. So my tag, I really don't like that, but, okay. My tag, I've already done the enjoy. I've already stuck that together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of our ribbon. I love this ribbon. And let me see if I can put that on there. I'm going to glue that down, yeah. I'm going to put that on here. Now I'm just going to grab both edges with that. Okay. And then I'll put the Tombow over it. Tombow will hold it better. Dimensional wood, too. I'm just going to put that right there. Okay. So I'll just let that set for a second. All right. Now, I've already done the other portion, or the other piece, which is one inch by five and a quarter for right here. See, and this is what I meant. You can you can change it up. But for this card, I don't want that side. I want it to match. Let's see, is that dry enough? Yeah. Okay, so gently I'm going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and snail this down. And I'm going to put that ever so gently. I like to leave a little edge so you can see a little of the seaside spray. Let me put that back there for a second. I'm going to bring in my inside piece, which I already cut also. This is three and a half by five and a quarter. I'm going to take the wishing you a Merry Christmas filled with love and happiness. Our sayings are so awesome. Make sure that's straight on my grid paper so I'm stamping straight. Bring in my poinsettia or poinsettia down there in the corner. And then I'm just going to snail this down. You see I keep switching back between snail and tombow. That's why I always have, I also have my sticky strips here, my glue dots. <laughs> I'm going to put that right inside here, and that will match up with the strip. I'm just laying it over the strip. What do you think? Oh, I know you're going to have so much fun with that bundle, but I'm not done yet, because what do we need? We need bling. And I brought this over to show you, um, because remember I said, let me see which card it was. Um, hmm. One of them I stapled. Oh, here it is. I stapled that. Well, let me show you my stapler. When I talk bling, I mean bling. This is my stapler. It's, <laughs> I also have a mouse that's like this and a pen. <laughs> my girlfriend bought that for me. She knows me so well. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is bring this in and I'm going to use... I could keep it subtle, but I think I want to add a little of the blue, the darker blue. So I'm just going to put one of the rhinestones right here. Okay. And maybe two more. Not a lot. Just, just to bring it out, the color out a little bit. 
Every time I do one of these cards, I go, oh, I think that's my favorite. Now I'm doing this one, and I'm like, okay, I think that one's my favorite. Oh, and you know what? I, I want to put one inside, too. So let me grab another one. Put one right in there. And there you have it. What do you think? And I still have two. You know what? Let me see. I got two more left. Why not use them all up, right? Maybe I'll do it on the other side. I'll do it opposite on the other side. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Put a little Tombow there. Slide that in right there. I think I want to move him down. Just a tad. And then use the blue. Since I already have them cut, they'll only go in my case. So let's slide that one right in there. Whoop. Come on. Get back in there. And I think I'm going to put my candy cane over top of it so he's behind it. Let me get that over there. Since I didn't glue the candy cane top down, I think I want him behind it. Okay, there you go. There we go. Okay. I know you probably can't see it that well, but the still shots will show it better. Okay, I'm liking that one. Okay, that one might be my favorite one now. So again, easy fun fold. I mean, eight by five and a half by eight, scored at three and three quarters. I have it right here. I will put it on the the um, blog, stampersdelight.com. I will also update the Facebook page. Now, one more thing I wanted to do is I wanted to show you one more thing with that. Okay, so we I did the quick the sneak peek with the Christmas time suite. This gorgeous paper. Gorgeous everything, which is not available until November 1st for customers, but you can get it in your um, starter kit. So if you're interested in the starter kit, just give me a holler. Trust me, you will not be sorry. What I did, and I thought this was a cute idea, I got some of the uh, gold glitter, glimmer, glitter, glitter dots. And then here's that paper from the Christmas time suite. And this has gold in it, but I actually like to use the hollies for this. And remember our baker's boxes that I used for, um, I wrapped the present in. Well, check this out. What goes better with a coffee cup? Or you could put tea in here and our baker's boxes, but little K-cups. You can get four in one of those baker boxes. You can also put some um, shreddy in there if you want. Okay, and you can fold that up and then just decorate it. I mean, how stinking cute. So what I'm going to do with this, because to go around the baker's box, the 12 inch, the 12 by 12 doesn't fit. So I have two strips, 12, 12 by 12, 12 inches. I cut it at two. Okay, here I'm going to take some tear tape. Remember, most our flat boxes are pizza boxes. You only need the 12 by 12, but the baker's boxes are bigger. So I'm just going to put a little tear tape on this. What great little gifts for, you know, co-workers. A little, uh, a little treat with um, some K-cups in it. I'm going to butt that together. Okay. I'm going to bring that. Now I am going to keep that on the top because I'm going to hide that. Okay. Let me show you what happens if you didn't use that, okay? You have a, a gap right here. So, actually, I'm going to do it this way. And I didn't measure this before uh, the Facebook Live, so that's why it's so long. You don't actually need that whole thing. I could have cut this off earlier. <laughs> but, again, I didn't practice this. I just said, oh, you know what? I want to do something with that baker box. So I just cut two strips real quick. So you probably only need like maybe four inches. 
next time I'll cut the right amount. But I'd rather have more than less. Making that belly band right there. Remember, I didn't practice it. There's my belly band. Yeah, it is nice to see what fits in them. 4K cups fit great. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the yellow, the red, uh, yellow, red, yeah. The gold um, ribbon. And I'm going to bring in this little tag. It's just a circle tag. Here's the cup, the uh, coffee cup, tea cup, hot cocoa cup, whatever you want, in gold or gold foil with the gold foil paper there. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't know what K-cups are. Our Keurigs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Yes, they are coffee for your coffee maker. Just going to dot some of that around. And I wasn't looking at the comments. Sorry, Matthew. Okay, so let me just bring that in. I did get some of my glue on here, but that's okay because I'll just wipe that off. Let it dry. Okay. So it's gold on gold. But you can see how nice it looks anyway. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, I'm doing this all in gold. So I have my to and from with my glitter glitz on the back side. I'm going to put, nah, I'll do it on the front. I think I'll do it on the front. I'll just leave this tag right. Okay. To and from. My hands are all sticky now. I'm going to put my cup right here. And I think what I'll do with that, this is, I have to fold this up because the stickiness is driving me crazy here. I'll use some dimensionals on that. To and from. I'm going to grab a punch, a, a puncher. This should be a good one. I'm going to punch a hole in the top of that. Close this up before I get my fingers in it. Grab some ribbon here. I'm going to actually tie this in a bow. fingers I like to cut my bow ties the top the tails here at an angle that one's already at an angle but it needs to be a little bit shorter okay and then I'm just going to grab some of the gold glitter dots. I don't want the big one. I want this, the medium size. Jeez, these are even sticking to me here. So there's, there's four sizes here. One, two, three, four. And then the tiny one. Grab that tiny one too. I'm just going to put some... Whoop, he didn't, I didn't want him down that far. I want him up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Just to add a little bit. Oh, and one more. This one, I want the larger one. And he's going to go right in the middle. I know it's all gold. I could have put some uh, cherry cobbler on it, but I wanted to do it this way. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, now you can either snail it down or use Tombow, but I'm going to use dimensionals again because I want it to be puffed up a little bit. And I want it to stay on the top. There we go. 
and then I'll straighten out my bow. Cute little, well, you don't want that dimensional thing on there. Cute little quick gift idea with our baker's boxes. And as long as you don't get the glue on there, you can just slide that right off for your little coffee. Now, if you're a tea drinker, you can put tea in there. You can put hot chocolate in there. Add some mini candy canes with the hot chocolate. Maybe some little marshmallows. And you got a cute little gift idea. Teachers, co-workers, whoever you want to give a little gift to. So let me bring in the other cards and things that I had already done. I hope you enjoyed these. Yes, mail person. And don't let's not forget our UPS drivers. My goodness, no. They need these to keep them awake to give, give us our Stampin' Up! boxes. Chocolates. Yes, Matthew, chocolates. Fill them up with some great chocolate. Okay, so here's the cards again. I'll do still shots. Great fun fold, easy, especially for the holidays if you're making a lot of cards. Oop, got folded over there. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks, Megan. Ah, oh, thanks, Stacy. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna read you off the names of the winners who are getting the first. I should say the first batch because this week is card making sending week. So, okay. There's the one with the hot chocolate or the uh, whip, whipped cream, and then of course we have this one and this one. And don't forget our little wobbly, no peeking Elfie. And I'll be showcasing him at Friday. Okay, let me flip the camera. So thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you Friday morning where I will be using Elfie. And you never know which other one I'll be using. I like to show you different ones. So what I did was I already pulled the names, okay? I already pulled the names only because I had to pull so many. So let me read the names off. If you hear your name, you're going to send me an instant message or a private message with your address, okay, so I can get you out a card, okay? Nathan Spear, Pam Germain Oliver, Delinda Lumpkin, Donna Schultz, Patricia Ducat, Kathleen Zuckerman, Rosemary Kupunder, and I apologize if I'm not saying your names right, and Carolyn Chambers. All of you are going to get one of my cards for World Card Making Day or week. And if you didn't get on there today, again, I, I did pull more names than I did projects uh, yesterday. But I there were so many overwhelming responses. I will be doing this again on Friday, so I'll be pulling more names. So if you uh, go, Patricia's on there. Great. Okay, so if you heard your name I will also put them in the Facebook um, comment section at the beginning, rather. Contact me, okay? Because I don't remember after a couple of days uh, to contact you. So please send me a message with your addresses. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your evening. Or if you're overseas there, have a great day because I think it's earlier for you. Have a great week, and I will see you back here Friday morning at 7 a.m. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.